Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we're going to look at how to compare two lists using the VLOOKUP function. So a common requirement in Excel is the ability to compare two lists, to either look for missing items, uh, for kind of matching items, or to form some other kind of action. In this example, we have these two customer lists. So both lists are exactly the same, with the exception of, I believe it's three people, but there are three more people, I think it's three, in this uh, first customer's list than in the second customer's list. See, this goes to 89, this goes to 92. So there's three extra people, yes. So, we want a way of comparing these lists, so the size of them is irrelevant, to be honest. We're going to compare them and see which, I sorry, which items, or which customers in this case, are in customers 1, but not in customers 2. So we're going to perform this analysis on the customers 1 sheet. And we're going to begin by putting a VLOOKUP function in column G. So to help build this up, I want to write the function in column G. So especially if you're new to VLOOKUP or, or uh, you know, a bit out of practice or a bit kind of fuzzy on VLOOKUP, we'll get the opportunity to write that in a little detail and to return a value to determine if they're there or not. We're then going to expand on that and use conditional formatting to highlight the row a certain colour if they are one of the customers not on the other list. So let's click in cell G2, and I'm going to type equals VLOOKUP. So a function that will look for something in a table and return information about it. And the first question they have for us here, just pressing the tab key there, is what is it I want to look for? And I'm going to choose the customer's ID in this case, because that's a unique value that I can use to check if Maria is in the other customer list as well. And I'll put a comma, so they then ask for the table array. Where is the table I'd like to look for Maria in? So this is my customers two, so I'm going to click on customers two, and I'm going to highlight the whole range using any technique you have for selecting that table range, whether it be a range name, whether it be dragging like I am here, uh, or shortcuts like Control A, Control Shift End. All of these could do a job. I'm dragging for something a little bit more visual there. And along the top, I can see the reference. Customers 2, A2 to F89. Now I'm going to press the F4 key, the function key, F4, on the keyboard there to make that reference absolute. I'm going to fix it so that when we copy the formula down on the other sheet then this table does not move, it remains A2 as the first record, F89 as the last record of the table. Comma, we now have the column index number question which is what information about that customer would you like to return? Now really I don't want to return anything, I just want to know if they're there. But this is a mandatory question, so we need to answer it. So I'm going to ask it to bring back column 1. I'll bring back the ID. If they're there, bring back the ID. Comma, range lookup, what type of lookup? An approximate one or an exact one? It's definitely exact. We want to know if they're there. You have to meet that membership ID, that custom ID. Close in bracket and enter. So this is VLOOKUP at the moment. If I double click to copy that formula down, then it is bringing back the ID if they are on the other list and bringing back this ugly error message if they are not on the other list. So as I scroll through, already this is a way that I can identify the three members that are not on the other list. It's quite visible and you know this may be, for you, this may be good enough and that, that'll, that'll work. We could quite happily live with that. However, we don't. We would like to do something, you know, a little bit better looking than that, maybe even a little bit more obvious than that, and that's pretty obvious, that hash NA. 
Now what we're going to do is double click on cell G2 and add another function to it. I'm going to put this function at the start of VLOOKUP and it's called ISNA. What this function is going to do is to look for the presence of this hash NA error message. If it sees it, it will return the um, uh, true answer. If it doesn't, it will return false. So we're going to get true if they're missing, false if they're not. I'll just put a closing bracket after the VLOOKUP there and press enter and double click this down. And here we go. We've got these falses. They're not there. Sorry, they are there. True. That, that person Elizabeth is missing and so on and so forth. And that's probably a little bit harder to read. So you could say it looked better before in a way of identifying them. But we're just trying to clean up the way that it identifies them. And the next step would be that on cell G2, trying to build this function up iteratively bit by bit rather than just throwing it all out at you. The next step would be at the start of this formula to add an if function. And this if function can then be used to display whatever text you want. So for example, I've got equals if, they ask for the logical test. And what we have written, the is and a and v lookup, is our test. So I'll click at the end and put a comma. That will display true or false. And indeed we can see it doing that in the other cells. So value of true, what would you like to do if it is true instead of the word true? I might want to f say the words not found. So in speech marks I could write the words not found above a number two on a UK keyboard. Comma, value if false. What if they are not there? Uh, sorry, what if they are there? I'm getting really confused. What if they are on the other list? Well, I don't want to do anything because I don't really care about that. I'm looking for those that are missing. So I'll put two speech marks, two double inverted quotes there with nothing in the middle. It is an empty string, close in bracket. That will make the cell blank. So indeed, when I press enter, I get blank. And when I double click down, I now get the words not found if they're not there, not found, and nothing if they are. I can obviously use this information to filter my list or to run count if functions to find out you know, how many are missing and yeah there's, there's a, a lot we could do now that we have this information I can indeed run additional VLOOKUPs to do something elsewhere maybe so that's all and good that's one technique there are little benefits to that technique a lot of people might find it easier to use that one however I want to I'll keep that there um, but I want to show an additional technique I want to look at changing the colour of the row so especially if your table is quite wide, this is going to be slightly clearer than that. And before I go into it, I'm just going to take a copy of part of our function. I'm interested in this bit. I don't need the if function, because the if function was used to display different text, you know, take different actions depending on the outcome from the lookup. I want to use conditional formatting as an alternative to if in this case, as I want to change the colour not display certain words. So the way I locate the missing records is the same. We'll be using VLOOKUP, we'll be using ISNA to kind of translate the answer from VLOOKUP really. Because we know if it cannot find the records it will say hash and A. Let's go and just select that part, ISNA to the second closing bracket. Take a copy, however you like to take copy, Control C for me. And I'll come out of that with escape. I'm going to highlight the whole table. I'm not going to include headings because I'm not I don't care if the headings are there or not. In in fact I know that they are. So kind of pointless. I'll just drag it down to the bottom here again. There's not that many records. That's one heck of a surname that is. And uh, I'm going to highlight this whole list. It's conditional formatting on the home tab that I'm looking for now. And I'm going for new rule because we need to put a formula. New rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I'm going to paste the formula that we already have. Now there's one last thing I need to do to this formula. It's not quite right because of what we're doing now. 
because a moment ago we wrote a formula in a single cell but now I've highlighted what have I highlighted uh, six columns and 91 rows of data so I am going to stick a dollar sign and I'll do this manually before column A is the first question the one called lookup value from VLOOKUP because I want it to look down the different rows at the 91 members but I don't want it to move off the ID column so I'm going to fix column A do not move from column A but yes number two the row number is relative and I'll click my format button below and choose a nice fill color I think that's, that's a lovely fill color I'll have some bold nice and recognizable here click OK and OK again and that should oh why have I got this nothing happening what have I done wrong there let's just have another look let's scroll this up have I done something wrong here let's scroll that up let's get that in there conditional formatting manage rules what have I done let's edit that rule Oh, I've got speech marks around this function for some reason. Let's take them out. So you get a copy and paste, and that's okay. That again. Here we go. Apologies for the little mix up there, but at least we know if it happens to you. Look at that. Some lovely yellowy sort of gold and bold <laughs> formatting as an alternative way of recognizing if those members are not there. There we go, there's Michael, and indeed there's Rita at the end there. So a nice visual way of seeing missing records. And uh, just like our use with the if function, I could turn on my filter and do some further analysis by filtering using the colour of a cell. So you can easily locate the missing items now as well if I needed to maybe export them somewhere else or uh, let's clear that filter uh, yeah I've wanted to print this list I can actually manage and, and kind of analyze and work with this and um, with the information I wanted to know and this is all kind of stemmed what our conditional format and the function was involved all kind of stemmed from the power of VLOOKUP that is what was looking and identifying whether they were there or not thank you for watching I hope you find this uh, tutorial useful Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergaga.com.